Hey guys, this is Sam and Aaron with TouchMe. We wanted to introduce the new Immersive Desktop Pro. Now with a really awesome new feature, it's uh, camera calibration. Before, when, uh, in our previous videos, we showed you how to manually configure the warp and blend um, with you know control points and everything. Well, now it's as easy as taking a camera, pointing it at the screen, and letting the calibration wizard go through the process, and it will warp and blend the image for you. Uh, typical setup, uh, like we normally have, we have two projectors. Uh, we're projecting onto a normal painted wall for right now. We don't have our projection uh, surface up right now, uh, but we wanted to show a, a more full uh, image here. Uh, so let's get right into it. Uh, the new thing that they have is the Immersive Calibrator, and uh, you can find that in your Start menu uh, under Programs under Immersive Desktop, uh, but we've taken the icon and sticking it right on the desktop. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into that. Uh, while we're waiting for this, uh, just to let you know, this is a pre-release version. So they, you might see some watermarks from Fly Elise, the people who made this, uh, across some of the uh, pictures. But you know, uh, the final release will not have that if you bought and paid for the product. All right, so here's the wizard. Uh, pretty straightforward. It makes it so simple. I'm going to show you how simple it goes. So we're going to first we have to select what type of display we want. So just click right here on the display. We have two projectors, so we're going to go two by one. So we want two projectors for one image. Throw up the test patterns and the wizard will pop up again. Uh, so right down here in this area is where you can select your, uh, the next step. So the next step here is to select the camera. Now we already have the camera set up and it's nothing special. It's you know a store-bought camera that's a little Logitech webcam. Um, and that alone can do the job for you. Uh, so I'm going to select the camera. Our camera is already selected, uh, but you can select whatever device you currently have connected to your computer here. And you can also choose what uh, frame rate and what resolution you want the camera to, be sh to shoot at. So we've got 1600 by 1200 at five frames a second. And next, we're going to choose camera position. So basically, we just want to make sure that our camera sees the entire shot. And so, you know, just adjust your camera so that it can see the, the entire shot well. Next, uh, also, down here in the bottom corner, uh, you can adjust your camera settings. The window pops up, and you can adjust things such as your exposure. Here, I'm going to change the exposure a little bit so you can see it. You can see it getting a little bit brighter on the screen here. But we want to keep it a little bit dark. We, we don't want it to be overly bright, but we don't want it to be overly dark either. So that's about right. So the next step is the camera mask. Now, the camera mask, what we want to do is we want to mask off everything except for our viewable image here. So the easiest way we found, uh, because we're just on a linear surface here, we're not on a curved surface, um, we can choose how many adjustment points we have. So we're going to just choose two, and scroll up to three and back down to two, and just quickly, we're not going to be perfect here, but we're going to move the mask down into the corners for a viewable image. You can start seeing here. So you can see as I start masking stuff off, it basically just uh, will only allow the viewable image to come through. So I'm going to mask off this last point down here in the corner. And we should be ready to go to the next step. All right, that's pretty good. So the next step, configuring the projector. So this is projector one. Now, uh, a couple of, now we're going to leave everything default because it just works for our setup. But if you need to you know, make any adjustments or any changes, you can adjust the circle size, so the size is a little bit big, bigger for the circles. But remember, any settings that you do with the circle size, it's probably best that when you start configuring Projector 2, you want those sizes to be the same. 
but for our, for our purposes, the default circle size of one is fine. Uh, the black and white threshold, if your circles are not showing up within the camera, or they're too dark or too bright, you can adjust the black and white threshold as well. Um, over here in the little corner, as you can see, what this does is it does a mini calibration for that one projector, just to see if you got the settings right. So I'll just click it really quick to show you. It goes through the little calibration settings. And you can see all of the green dots show that everything showed up here. Now, we got some white here, but uh, like I said before, uh, everything kind of worked out for us just using these normal uh, settings. But if you start calibrating and you find that it doesn't do it well, you can come back to here. You can always hit back and, and start adjusting your settings. Now, the second one is to configure the second projector. Uh, but we're okay with that. Again, we're using the default settings. So the next is to prepare to scan. And so you can see the whole display here. Now when I click this, what's going to happen is projector one is going to flash a couple colors for color calibration and brightness calibration. Then some dots, some calibration dots will flash across the screen. Then it'll move to cal uh, the second projector and do the same thing and then do some processing at the end. So let's go ahead and do that. Goes projector one, calibration dots. Nice to get all the patterns for you. Moving to projector two. And this is going to wrap up here in a second. It's going to do a little bit of processing. Keep in mind, we don't have a very powerful computer on this. It's pretty, pretty normal computer. And the processing wraps up, and the wizard should pop back up here in a second. Now we've got a blended image. Now you can see it's kind of small. But again, here in the wizard, you can see that we have control points. Um, we're going to go ahead and drop the control points down to two vertical and two horizontal so we can start moving this around. You can take these control points, and now you can move the blended and shaped image to where you want it. That back up in the top corner there. Move the bottom one back over. So if you already have a projection surface already kind of set up, then you can again shape it into your projection surface. So I'm going to click on this little icon up here to save this. Now what it's going to do is it's now going to save this. Uh, we're going to call it demo. We'll just call it demo. We've already got one called demo, but we're going to just save over it. So now it's going to keep all of that. It's telling me that I'm going to copy over it. So yes, I want to replace it. Calibration results saved. And now it's safe to close this wizard. So now we can go into the actual software, Immersive Display Desktop. Go ahead and open that. We'll get a little mag screen here. It's basically saying there's no protection there. Uh, we don't have a serial or anything. Again, this is a this is a pre-release demo version. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we want to click on displays and click on this little arrow down here. And we have a new option here called camera calibration. And we're just simply going to get that demo calibration that we just created, load it, and all we have to do is click on desktop warping here, and it's going to load that warp. See, it has now warped the entire desktop. And here you can see the watermark that we were talking about earlier. Okay. But as you can see, it's a perfect blend. Uh, it took no more than probably five minutes to get that set up and load this up, and now we have a full blended desktop. I can even throw up a couple visuals here. And you can see there's pretty much no blend issue or anything. It's right on the money. It's perfect. So uh, we just definitely think that this is a huge improvement to the series. Uh, it, puts, it makes setting up multiple projectors just easy as all get out. Um, so Sam and Aaron from Touch Me definitely approved this. It's pretty awesome. Uh, you guys enjoy. Have fun.